Hi, this is Danelle Fields with Dropping In with Danelle, Local Mia, localmia.com. I'm really excited to be in the store of Flowers of Kingwood with Robin Martinez, the owner, today. And The Earth Laughs in Flowers by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I think that is like perfect for today because Robin makes us laugh, she makes us <laughs> smile, she makes us do everything with all of her flowers. She's all over the community and what she shares with us is her talent of flowers and events and everything and so I'm so happy to have her today. She's married to um, Hector Martinez, they've been married since 2005. They have five grown children and they have seven grandchildren. <laughs> and a little fun, uh, fun fact is she's owned this since 1987 and did you know that she bought this Mm -hmm. from her parents yes mm -hmm. and I, I didn't I really didn't know that and I also know that her parents had the store on 494 it was called Black Cat Junction Landscaping and Florist I mean mm -hmm. what a great fact and so she went to work for them and then she bought it from them so I'm really excited to have <laughs> you today thank you and I'd like you just to tell us a little bit about yourself I've already said a little bit but a little about your business and um, you know what things you do in the store and, and what span of area that you cover? Um. Well, our delivery area has considerably increased since 1987. So really we go from Fall Creek over to uh, Greens Point and from there out to Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland, Splendor are still some designation schools, uh, businesses uh, without going into uh, residential too much. But we cover a wide area in the East Montgomery County and this uh, part of Harris County. Right. And tell us, a lot of people wouldn't know what types of things you do here. Mm -hmm. Because I know you do Terrific Moms for Homecoming. Yeah. And um, just what other things do you do? Uh, fresh flowers is our main uh, objective. That's what we do. So we work with flowers and plants. We deliver for all occasions in life. We do birthdays, anniversaries, weddings. Great wedding season coming up because y'all missed 2020. And uh, we have, you know, somber occasions, sympathy, thinking of you, uh, get well. So we work with all of life's occasions. Right, and you do events, I know that, because we I've do. seen uh, everything I go to, and you've done the centerpieces mm -hmm. and lots of things like that. We're doing a few uh, virtual events this year where homes are hosting a watch event for an auction for an for an online uh, nonprofit, uh, I think there's like 10 or 15 homes in the Kingwood area or the area doing that for the village for their oh, online auction this that's year. That's great. So, well, life is changing, I guess. Yeah. And um, so, when when you moved in and moved here mm -hmm. to move, you know, I think you're you were the bookkeeper for your parents yes. right at first, uh -huh. and so you moved into the flower shop business. So. At what point did you think you got the bug to be a florist and that's what you wanted to do? Oh, because no. it, I didn't have a bug to be a florist. You didn't? No, I just thought I was smarter than my parents. Oh. Turns out I'm not. And uh, so what I was smart enough to do was hire people over the years who knew more than I did who taught me. So, and I would reach out to people in our industry because you were right. for many years and ask questions. I went to uh, seminars, I educated myself. Mm -hmm. and. I learned how to do this by watching and learning from our industry leaders and people who love what they do. And so I really do, I really do love what I do. I like running my business and I, I love working with flowers. And you do love what you do, I know, but mm -hmm. you also are very professional and you run it as a business. And I yes. know that about you. So I know you mm -hmm. have a lot, you, yeah. you have a lot of skills and I know you have a lot of, which I will write in my article, she has a lot of titles behind her name. Not only does she do flowers and just because she's good at it, she's trained in it. So she, yeah. she knows what she's doing. So people ask her all the time, um, if I don't maybe come by a little arrangement from you, how can I create some beauty at home? What are some little simple tips? Mm -hmm. So she's got a few things and she wants to show you maybe a, a neat vase or something that mm -hmm. you could do at your home. Maybe Maybe some people, it's five o'clock and you're cooking and you're going, oh my gosh, <laughs> I forgot about the centerpiece on the yeah. table. So let's see what we could do in a, like a snap minute. When you send your husband who doesn't know anything really about <laughs> florists and you say, can you buy one of those bunches of flowers? So here's something maybe you could do. 
Well, we sell those little bunches of flowers, too, for people <laughs> yep. that need them. True. This is called a frog. You, some people had them from their grandmother. You'll get them at an antique place. That's probably where I picked this up. And you just submerge it into your water source. And it's, and it's got... It has holes in the bottom. It's got holes all in it. And I, I tried to see why they call it a frog, and I don't know. Hmm. But you just cut your stems, and they go into the holes. And they will rest so that you don't really have to have uh, a set idea as to where you want them. You just have to put them in till you like them. I mean, that's what it is about and working out of your house. Right. You know, this is simple enough to do with a small frog into the container. But you'll see how well they go in. Um, and then I chose to do, I use a knife, but you can use scissors, sharp scissors at scissors. And then your flowers, you would place them into the holes as well. I love hydrangeas. I know, aren't they pretty? And we've gotten them in blue now and purple. Man, you should see those purples. They wow. are bad boys. I love purple. Um, sorry, usually I can talk and move at the That's same okay. time. But uh, you see how and you those just are some big ones. put yep. them in there to however you want them to be. And you can do it as simple as three to five hydrangea, or you could be... Uh, you could do more with it. So this particular frog is pretty uh, modern because it's made out of glass. This one I found at a small little place in uh, South Houston. It was a, I don't even know what kind of store it was, really wasn't an antique store. But this container won't hold water, but this is how it came with this wire mesh and I put uh, water tubes in there. Cute. Because this won't hold water and then all I do is came in, come in, and then I put the flowers into, into the little water tubes. Mm -hmm. So you see that you can make it as um, right. however you want it to be. And so, it's no fail. And it, yeah, it's no fail. So what, what I want to say, one thing about these hydrangeas is one mm -hmm. thing about buying here from Robin and Flores is you're the quality. So you could buy them from other um, places, and they might, I don't want to say names, they might not be quite as big or as lush, and so quality is kind of mm -hmm. everything, and, and plants, everything, you get what you pay for. So if you're wanting to do some things at home, but you want to do your own touch, you buy them from Robin and you get this. Now, how many times have you seen this not in a florist? Not very much, so. So you see, it doesn't take much to uh, fill in your water tubes and to come up with a design that would be pleasing on your table. And, you know, this as well. That's wonderful. Now this one, this little bowl is, I think it was a free with a fill up when our grandparents were I was going to say, I have up. that bowl. <laughs> no, no, we, we all have several okay. from hand down. Right. And then this frog is wire. It is uh, wire prongs. Wow. And you just submerge that. But that's probably one of the original ones. Easy enough to push that. the flowers into and the greenery just pushes into. But you can do this if you have these in a drawer at home. Mm -hmm. I put mine, like this is mine, and I just bring crystal out of the cabinet. How often do we put our potato salad it's in almost, crystal anymore? It almost looks it's, like a hairbrush. Yes. <laughs> and yes, it is a very... I was thinking, could I do my hairbrush? Yeah. Um, but so I wanted to ask you, I'm always curious about everyone on this, but what is your favorite flower? What do you think? If you had to pick something. Aramaris. 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 And it is, I can only get it in May and June, roughly now. Okay. Sometimes it grows to be this tall. It's yellow and has these wonderful little blooms all the way to the top. Aramaris is my favorite. Okay. Well, great. Mm -hmm. Well, I think doing so many events and, um, just so much throughout the years. What do you think is one of your most memorable moments? It could be here in the store or doing an event or a wedding. What do you think one of your the most memorable that you think will stay, you know,